Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a video addressing my CSGO inventory and I actually cashed out quite a bit of my CSGO inventory however I've managed to build myself a very very themed loadout and I'm going to be going over each weapon and then of course showing them in game and the loadout I've gone for is a red loadout excluding the knife every skin that I own in this inventory even stickers as well are actually red so it's a very very strong theme and all of my weapons follow a very consistent theme so let's take a look so um, as you can see See, primarily red, we've got the red stickers, um, basically every skin that I own is red. So we've got a USP Cyrex, dual Berettas, like, I'll just show you these really quickly, and then, uh, get some in-game shots, but there's actually no red Negev skin, you guys can look for yourself, I'll put a link to the, uh, CSGO stash thing down below, there's literally no red CSGO skin, so that is one of the only weapons in this inventory that is, uh, sort of out, this Glock Candy Apple I've had for ages, the Candy Apple's such a a basic skin but it's actually got four of these Virtus Pro uh, Hollow Dream Hack 2014 stickers possibly I'm not too sure I've got this minimal wear Deagle Crimson Web of Two Face stickers it's actually got a quite bad float for minimal wear but it doesn't look too scratched so that's pretty cool I've got this Fnatic 9 uh, red quartz obviously it's a pretty red skin it looks more orangey in game honestly but nonetheless that is a pretty cool skin and one of these skins as well I've had for ages P215 Muertos covered in Hellraiser foil stickers from Katowice I think that's 2015 um really really nice skin the red stickers are amazing and I had this before I even had the red inventory and then obviously we've got the hemoglobin dual berettas I did have a kill confirmed USP but I decided to downgrade it for the Cyrex and that's partially because I had an M4A1 Cyrex but I ended up selling the M4A1 so now I've just got this USP I think the Cyrex USP is a really clean skin I think it looks really nice in game and the black and red obviously work really well together shotguns fairly self-explanatory we've got the Nova boot uh, bloom stick I love this skin it's red it's got the flowers blooming all the way up the skin little bit of wear along the handle and the top of the gun but uh, overall like it's still a pretty solid look skin uh, the XM 1014 tranquility the probably the reddest once again very similar theme where it's got these flowers blossoming and um, I'm gonna assume that's some sort of woman I can't really tell the, <laughs> the guns too far away uh, the mag 7 heat is like an iconic like I'd say it's the the most red it's more orange than anything but it still fits the theme very well the 7249 nebula crusader I love this skin it's kind of like this old retro sort of arcade skin. You've got like the uh, Space Raiders design there. Some sort of weird game that I can't really identify. But you've got the red on the back. Uh, the red like just all throughout the gun basically a really cool looking skin in my opinion then smgs i don't have a ump skin because i used to have a ump blaze but i sold that there's no red ump skins apart from the blaze and maybe the fallout warning all of them pretty much um are like not red basically so stat track neon rider in minimal wear this one's got a pretty decent float um there's probably a more red MAC-10 skin, like the uh, Heat, for example. But I think, I don't know, the pink kind of is similar <laughs> to red in a way. And it, it's just a pretty cool looking skin. I love the Neon Rider. And for the price as well, it's definitely a really cool skin. We've got the MP7 Full Stop. This is a really cool skin as well. It's just like red sort of camo design. Um, really awesome. The P90 Cold Blooded. This was really hard to get a hold of. I could not find it anywhere. Especially in a good float. As you can see, there's quite a few scratches there. But it's a, just a sheer red skin with this like... Uh, I'm not too sure what that is actually going up and down the skin, but nonetheless by far the most red P90 skin and the PP Bison Antique. I, I'm not sure if there's a more red Bison skin, but this one, you definitely get your bang for your buck. It's really not too expensive and it's it's like a brownie, orangey, possibly reddish colour. Um, nonetheless though, it fits the theme perfectly. And on the last page, guys, we have the rifles. So we got this G3, uh, the, the G3, essentially the Executioner. I'd say this is the reddest G3 skin. Really cool looking skin, actually. You've got, like, the skull and crossbones and the bones, like, running all the way up. Really, really cool and very fun to use. Galil Firefight, very basic, very cheap skin. Really cool, though. I, again, it's one of those really clean designs, very simplistic. You've got the bullets running up the chamber there. I just think it's really cool. Uh, we've got the AK Redline, and this 
I love the red line, it's such a basic skin, I always end up finding myself with these Staturac red lines, especially with cool stickers as well, we've got the Renegades foils, they are awesome stickers, really really nice in my opinion. SSG, I went for a big iron, now it's not red, but the only like remotely red skin would be the blood in the water, and that's just way too pricey for me to justify, just because I never really use the SSG. So um, I went for the big iron, really really nice looking skin, it's got these two stickers on it, I'm not really too sure uh, why. The SG, we went for the Cyrix again, I've already said my thoughts on the Cyrix, I love how the colours work together. It's just a really awesome looking skin, and for the SG, it's a gun I never use, so it's not really too important, I get like a super pricey gun. Um, or if I use this on both sides, it's this orb red line, and it actually has these this I buy power sticker on the back, and these three Hellraiser Hollow stickers uh, on like the barrel and the front and the scope. It just looks really nice in my opinion, very very clean, especially with those stickers as well. I, I don't know what it is about like sticker guns. I just love them. Then for my CT side, we've got the Scar Blood Sport. Obviously, it's probably the reddest skin out there. I'd say it's more orange actually, but it still does suit the loadout pretty well. The Famous Roll Cage, I actually love this skin. I think it's such a cool design. It's actually really cheap as well, considering it's a covert. Um, it's, you know, it's got these like, I'm going to assume they're like blood splatters. The white, the brown, and the red all work together in a really awesome way. Then we've got the Star Trek M4 Evil Daimyo, and I used to use the A1, but recently uh, I decided I was going to shift over to the A4, so I got a Star Trek Evil Daimyo because I'm not about to fork out like one grand plus on a howl so i just got this it's a pretty cool skin once again as i mentioned i really do like it when they have a lot of stickers on and this one definitely does uh goes really well with the color scheme the same ssg skin we've got this org sid mead which i didn't even know was a skin but actually looks really awesome i love this like silver red contrast it's just a really nice looking skin very basic but it does the job and of course we have the same orb as we have on the t side and um if I just want to go over stickers real quick, we've got like the Dosia, the Astralis, like I'm just going to wait for these to slowly go up in value as that's what generally happens with most stickers. So guys, that is just about it. Um, the knife actually I didn't show you, we've got this M9 Vanilla, I'm no, not sure why it's renamed to a real MF Syrup. I just love the M9, I love how clean the animation is, um, it's one of those knives you can never really get bored of and the M9 Vanilla is just such a clean and like aesthetically pleasing knife so definitely a really good knife choice was potentially thinking about like upgrading it or downgrading it and get myself a nice crimson web knife to go with the loadout but i think the m9 actually works really well because it's a nice change from having like a completely red inventory so let me know your thoughts on that down below whether i should get maybe a red knife like an autotronic or a crimson web or if i should just keep with the vanilla m9 to keep this sort of nice clean um sort of slender loadout going because this red weapon skins with the, the plain knife i don't know i just think it works really well together so without further ado let's take a look at some of these skins in game i'm not going to show you all of them just a few of my personal favorites thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you in game also guys, just before we do get into this, I want to give a quick shout out to my boy Namu for hooking me up with the music for this. He, I actually use quite a bit of his music as background music and he's a really sound guy so I'll drop a link to his YouTube channel and his sound club below. Maybe if you could go and show him some love on behalf of me, let him know I sent you. That would be really great. He makes really cool like chill instrumentals so if that's anything that interests you then once again his link will be down below. And if you'd like to see more edit things like this because I've actually done them before like on my channel then do be sure to let me know down in the comments below because I actually find them really fun to make and obviously I've got quite a wide variety of music that I can use of this sort of genre thanks to Namu so if you guys would like to see more things like this maybe even TF2 where I show some weapon skins like it and stuff then do let me know down below and I will get on to that and it's definitely something that I'd enjoy making and I really hope that you guys would enjoy watching now without further ado let's get into a showcase of how the skins look in game once again Namu's link Links will be down below.